Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Rifa. We finally arrived in Seattle, and right now we are in Chihuly Garden. Hi guys, we're in Chihuly Garden and Glass in Seattle. This is an exhibition of glass artwork. It's so amazing. Stay tuned, guys. Yeah, icicle. Uh, this is Iceland. Uh, the white, the white workers. Oh yeah. Yeah, remember, Game of Thrones. Hey. Chihuly Garden is named after Del Chihuly, who was born in Tacoma, Washington. He was introduced to glass while studying interior design at the University of Washington. After graduating in 1965, Chihuly enrolled in the first glass program in the country at the University of Wisconsin. He continued his studies at the Rhode Island School of Design, where he later established the glass program and taught for more than a decade. In 1968, after receiving a Fulbright Fellowship, he went to work at the Vanini Glass Factory in Venice. There, he observed the team approach to blowing glass, which is critical to the way he works today. In 1971, Chihuly co-founded Pilchuck Glass School in Washington State. With this international glass center, Chihuly has led the avant-garde in the development of glass as a fine art. This is the sea life room, represents the sea life. I suppose this is the water, the sea water, and all the, the things that live inside the water, under the water. There's a starfish and shell. Jellyfish. This is amazing. Persian silly. Let's put this in our house. Yeah. Chihuly has created more than a dozen well-known series of works, among them cylinders and baskets in the 1970s, sea forms, Makia, Venetians, and Persians in the 1980s. Nijima floats and chandeliers in the 1990s and Fiori in the 2000s. Which one? Yeah. Wow, this is amazing. Look at this. Fiori. Wow. Yeah, I know, right? He is also celebrated for large architectural installations. In 1986, he was honored with a solo exhibition, Del Chihuly Objects de Verre, at the Musée des Arts Décoratifs Palais du Louvre in Paris. In 1995, he began Chihuly over Venice, for which he created sculptures at glass factories in Finland, Ireland, and Mexico, then installed them over the canals and piazzas of Venice.
going to glass house garden there are pictures on the wall oh look at this so this is the glass house and glass house sculptures cold is just not moving when we say it's too cold it's still it's still about a thousand degrees. we don't like to let it get too far below that but there it is we're ready to take another gather we need more material to show you guys the scale we want to show you today something similar to these two pieces that you see on the stage these were made a couple of days ago if you can envision what we have inside of that furnace the bottom half of the chamber there sits a crucible that holds when it's full 200 pounds of this stuff Sure that that punty is on center. We need it on the very center, the very bottom of the piece, kind of like clay on a wheel. Somebody out there is throwing a pot for it. Same idea, yeah. If it's turning like this, you're not going to be able to make it on center and symmetrical. Same concept. So that annealing oven is 950. The piece has to be about that temperature. We'll be loaded in there. If it's too hot, it's going to slump. And if it's too cold, it's going to break. If it gets too cold at any part during this process, trust me on this part, it doesn't care how long you've been working on it, it's going to break. Mm -hmm. It's going to fall on the floor. Or explode in the furnace. Hot torch makes quick work of any sharp edges. Generally, there's a sharp ring down there that will cut you if you're not careful. Hot torch. Melts that away, and we have a beautiful face by A and Mr. B. Oh, that was fun. I'm going to Chandelier Walkway now. Wow, this is so cool.
Mr. Su, a spicy tuna roll, baked crab, salmon, sashimi, and Mr. Su. Yay! Spicy tuna roll, what is that? It's my baked tuna. Yeah. Yeah. The mom's like, you have to be a girl like that like that. Because I don't forget about 50 bucks. That's more than 50 bucks of what you're eating. <laughs> <laughs> Incarnation. Incarnation. Incarnation.